the squatting gym and say this, that's, that's my home. That's what I know best in life. That's who I am. I'll never erase that. I thought about this this morning. I'm thinking, and, uh, and Sean, uh, a good friend of Savage, and Sean, he's a high finance guy. He's into, you know, the Rolex watches and the suits, and he's done, been very successful in life. I'm, I'm playing that game now. I put, I put the suit on every day. I go to the office, and I, the same mentality that worked in the gym for those 40 years in squatting, I take to the office, and you know what? I can kick butt in the office. And I, I don't really know what Sean knows, but the attitude. We were just talking about this before too. Yeah. Most guys think about you know, what to take and what to eat, and they forget about what to think. I mean, when I first won the universe in 78, a long time ago, before you were born, I knew nothing about what I was doing. I was some new kid out here on the block, you know, and I was around the very best in the world. You know, Corny, Zane, Robbie, uh, you know, just to mention a few. And, uh, but I won the universe knowing nothing about how to get there. I just knew I had to do it. I had to do it or I'm gonna die. And I was willing to give it that much. Somehow it came together and I pulled it off and I won the universe. Then when I learned what to do, how to eat, and nutrition and all that stuff, uh, it, it, how to train properly, it came together, but nothing replaces your belief system. Your belief system to where you know, you know for sure that you're willing to go the distance to get there. I mean, the only difference between me and everybody in this room is that I wanted it more. I mean, I was willing to die for it. I, w I would do whatever it took. I was an 18-year-old kid, 19-year-old kid out of college, came out here, 50 bucks on a plane ticket, and tomorrow I'm training at Gold's Gym, and you know what, Arnold was there, Robbie was there, and I had to do it. I had to do it. There was no plan B. I sort of had a plan B, but I really didn't believe in it. You know, I had a couple of degrees, I could be a teacher, I talked to the school district, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be like everybody else. And I wanted to be a bodybuilder, and that was my plan in life. And through the grace of God, he allowed me to fulfill what I wanted to do. I wasn't blessed with great genetics. I didn't have, you know, small waist and big shoulders. I wasn't six foot five. Uh, but you know what? Um, I wasn't even competing with anyone else. I was trying to beat that guy, Tom Platts, every day. If I had to challenge Tom Platts, whatever he did, I could do better, you know? And that was what I did. That's all I did. And now 40 years later, here we are talking about the, the old days. And it's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's meaningful to me to talk about the old days, but the same attitude, I'm taking to the office every day and it's working there too. So when I talk to 20 year olds and 30 year olds, I talk about the mentality first. Forget about the technique and how to do this. And the, the, if you want something bad enough, you can do it. If you want something bad enough, you can do it. We left our families, we left high paying jobs, we left everything we had to, to come to Gold's Gym, to train together, and it was like, that's all we cared about. And the beach was in the, we had no suntan beds. We went to the beach for three hours after the two hour workout. That was part of the mentality, you know? But, and it's amazing to think about that. You know, we all migrated from different parts of the world to be here because we knew it was that important to us. And we're willing to sacrifice anything to do it. And I was, I'll admit, I was a bit insane. But you gotta be a little bit insane to do this. You can't be normal. You can't be like, well, I'm gonna run a business also and I'm gonna get married and have kids too. And you can be that guy. There's gotta be a switch, go click. Now you're crazy in the gym, you will do anything, you will die, you're willing to die to get there. And then click, hi honey, how are you? You know, you have to be able to do that. And that's the only difference between me and a guy that didn't make it, you know? Uh, I can see that clearly. And uh, it's, so, it's a lot of fun to look back and think about, you know, hindsight's always 20-20, but those are the things I did right. And it wasn't just me, it was, and it was my destiny. I mean, it was, I often think, and I thought about this this morning over my coffee, I could have went to Princeton. Hmm. I could have went to an Ivy League college. I could have, uh, you know, had a high paying corporate position. Would I, and I could have played golf, maybe professional golf, maybe that would have been my answer. But, you know, it wasn't then. Now I look back and I think, you know, I love pro golf. Oh, what, what a sport. I just love the mentality there. Uh, I like the fact when I talk to Sean and guys in the corporate world and finance and 
when I talk to some of my mentors, Vince McMahon and even Donald Trump, I love the attitude. But you know what, when I talk to these guys, they all look at me and they go, God, I'd love to have your life. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know? And I think about their life. Like, That's, and so it's always you know, greener on the other side of the, of the fence. But I love to put myself in uncomfortable situations to where I have to figure it out, I have to learn. 1977, coming out here with 50 bucks and a plane ticket. Uh, going into the corporate world at age 50, going, all right, I worked in the gym, I'm gonna apply it in the corporate. And you know something, I can, I can run circles around these 20 and 30 year olds. I can kill them, you know? And it's, 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 like, it's the same thing, there's competitive atmosphere, there's caffeine, there's corporate politics, the same way it is in the gym and in the, the world of body. But you have to make it work for you rather than against you. You can't get bitter, you can't get upset and say, oh, I could have if, you know, there's no excuse. You're in control. You're, we are all causative in what happens to us. We are causative. And, and you have to realize, even if something doesn't go your way, you lose the show. I lost many shows. I lost more shows than I won. People forgot about that. Okay? I remember 1978, I lost to Mr. America. And I'm thinking, I think I'm going to get a job now. I'm like, oh God, do I have to get a real job? I don't want to do that. I was handing out beach towels on the beach, you know? And then all of a sudden, the guy who uh, Tony Pearson won that year, and then uh, Ron Tufu, who was the proposed winner, got pissed off and called the judges' names and walked off stage, and all the judges looked at me and said, and I'm like, it's my turn. It's my, I knew it was my turn. You know, they whispered in my ear, you know, get in the pose down. And I went to the universe. I lost to Mr. America, went to the universe, and won the universe and turned pro in 79, competing my first Olympia. I wasn't oh. supposed to be that guy. I wasn't the the weeders guy he brought out here and said, hey, he, he's the guy that's gonna do it. He's gonna be it, I'm gonna mold it. I just wanted it so bad that I told the universe, excuse me, this is my destiny, I know it. And you know what? Because of that belief system, it happened. And I thank God every day for that. I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't for that. When I, when I get on the phone and I talk to a multi-billionaire, you know, you're a little bit uneasy. I'm talking to the President of the United States or Vince McMahon, you know. But you know what gives me strength? The fact that I was able to hear and squat here and go to the point where I couldn't do five more and I got five more and then got even five more. There's always five more. The fact that I could do that gave me so much strength in life. I'm in, I'm in total respect and honor of the squat rack forever. It's, it's my altar. It's what taught me how to get there. And I, it, it works in every business, in every phase of life. And that's what we talked about this morning.